Hello everybody, welcome back to the Noble Way. We are here today at Disney's Animal Kingdom. As you can see behind me, we are in the amazing Pandora area, the world of the Avatar. It is Love an it. awesome, spe spectacular <laughs> view. Uh, we're gonna try and actually get a little bit of footage here at nighttime too, because it lights up brilliantly. It's been a little while since we've been to Animal Kingdom. Yeah. So we figured we'd just kind of come here, hang out a little bit, pal around the parks, yeah. ride some rides, grab some food, see some entertainment, see some of the things we haven't seen for a while, so. We're gonna ignore the fact that he said pal around. I tried to ignore it immediately <laughs> when I said it, but it was too I late. was like, what? <laughs> but whatever. Anyhow, stay tuned. <laughs> Right here at the entrance to Animal Kingdom, they have a really cool promo for Ice Age, the brand new Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild that's going to be coming out. Original movie, January 28th. It's only going to be on Disney+. Plus. And I know you're, you're probably looking at this and saying, this is a great promo. Ah, boom, check it out. This is awesome. This is a sand castle. This is actually made out of sand. You can kind of see down there all the crumbly sand. So I'm going to assume if you jump into that, you absolutely wreck it. But maybe it's been spray painted with something. Look how cool this is. Got all the characters in here. Hey, look, there's Scrat. Although I do know Disney just lost the rights to using Scrat. There was a big lawsuit against them. And the person who actually created Scrat won, apparently. So they're going to have to start paying big bucks to use that character. This is pretty cool, though. I want to touch it, but I don't want to mess it up. But just, I just want to, like, jump in the middle of that. It looks so fun, but I won't. All right, well, I've had my eye on it for a while, but today, today was the day here at the Avatar World of Pandora. Yeah. We went into Wind Traders, and oh, I had to get the awesome <laughs> blueberry almond popcorn. I've been dying to try this for so long now. Yeah. <laughs> look at it. Oh man, it looks good. I mean, does that not look good? Look at that. Hold on. Let me give you a shot. Look at this. Look at these almonds in there. You see that? Get my. Oh man, that looks good. Anyway, I've been dying to try it. Um, it's only, I've only ever seen it here in Pandora. Uh, so I had to give it a try. And I will let you know how it is whenever I decide to actually try it in this episode. At some point, I'll open it and eat a little bit. I absolutely just love the Pandora area. I just think it's so cool looking. Everything about it is just so neat. I just like walking through it, even in the daytime. I like the way it looks even in the daytime. And this will give you a good kind of glimpse of what it's at, what it looks like during the daytime and then we'll show you again what it's gonna look like at nighttime and the difference. It's just really cool looking. And there's the crashed helicopter over there. Hanging out over in the jungle. I mean, te technically it's not really a helicopter, it's their like jet plane thing, but it looks kind of like a helicopter. All right, so Animal Kingdom closes at eight o'clock tonight. Um, but interestingly enough, there's only three rides open. So only Dinosaur, Navi River, and Flight of Passage. So as you can imagine, the wait times for those three rides, they're pretty high. Yeah. Um, but closes at eight, there's only three things open. So I think we're just gonna walk around a little bit, check out some new merchandise if we find any, maybe get some grub, um, and then see if we can hop on some rides a little bit later as it gets closer to eight. It starts to get a little darker. We will see, I don't know. It's gonna be a little dodgy with, uh, maybe some other stuff will open up. One of the things that I know is definitely not gonna open up is Kilimanjaro Safari, which, I was hoping to ride that tonight. Yeah, they haven't. To ride it at night. I haven't seen the safari open at yeah. nighttime in a long time. Yeah. I don't know if it's um. I don't know. I feel like since COVID, I haven't seen Kilimanjaro Safari open at night. But maybe maybe they got rid of it. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe they haven't. If you know, if you've seen the nighttime safari since COVID, yeah, let us know. Let us know because I haven't seen it. Uh, we've only done the daytime. I don't know. Hey! So, I don't know. So we're kind of going to miss out on that tonight. But oh, well, I always think the safari is cool at night because I feel like you get to see things you don't normally get to see during yeah. the daytime. 
um, and it's pretty neat. But apparently right now they don't really have it. <laughs> so I guess we'll try again another day. So I saw this shirt on Instagram, like, I don't know, probably about a month ago, and I it, I saw that it was only at Animal Kingdom, but I feel like we haven't been to Animal Kingdom in a while. And I was hoping it would fit me. It said it was kids, so I was like, I don't know how big the large is going to be, but I feel like it might. It might be a little snug. I don't know, but I love it. It's only $19.99. I feel like you rarely see Mo Moana merch. Rarely. And it's super cute. It's light pink. And it says, what's it say on it? Free as the ocean. I'm definitely buying it. I absolutely love this. And Disney, please start making more Moana merch. Look how cute this is. I absolutely love this. It's new. It caught my eye immediately as I walked over here. Um, it says, it's embroidered Minnie Mouse on the back. It's like a little crop top, but like for a kid, this would be a waist, like a low waist crop top, so your kid's not too exposed. Um, it's absolutely adorable. It's red, yellow, and this is cream colored. You can't really, I don't know if you can tell in the yeah, it video. Pink. It's, it's like pinkish. It's, a, it's like a dark cream color. And it's $29.99. I think it is so cute. $29.99 is a little pricey for this because the shirt I'm getting, the Moana shirt, is only $19.99 and this is kids. I feel like it should be like $24.99, but it's not. Look at that shirt. I love the colors. It's very soft. It's a long sleeve t-shirt and it has mini on it. There's nothing on the back. Oh, well, I guess the shoulders have the polka dots on the back also, but this is really expensive. It's $34.99. I feel like that's a lot for a kid's shirt, but it is really, really cute. I absolutely love the colors of it, and it is soft. So if you live somewhere in a cold climate and you want like a good souvenir, I feel like this is a good pick. Okay, so I this is the kid version of what I already have in the adult version. I feel like this one's a little bit cuter. It has Mickey and Minnie kissing, but this is really expensive. It's a sweatshirt. It's kind of like a crop sweatshirt, but not too cropped. Like, it's pretty long. I say it's like uh, mid-waist. Um, but this is $40, $39.99. I feel like that's a lot, but I absolutely love the colors they have for spring and this tie-dye look. So this is really, really cute. I feel like mine adult version was probably only $49.99 or $59.99. I feel like $40 is a lot for a kid's version. I'm just saying, but it's so cute. It just has the tie-dye on the back and the in the little slouch shoulders, so it's trendy. So it's very cute, but it is $39.99. They also have this quilted jacket. It's kind of thick. Like, I feel like this is really cute. I love, it's like the mauve color of the new spring line and has the quilted Mickey applique in the embroidered mini and Mickey. It's only $46.99. I feel like this is an excellent deal. I would have bought this for my kids when they were small. Um, and like I said before, this sweatshirt is $39.99. This whole coat, jacket, is $46.99. I feel like this is the better deal, definitely. And it has a little hood. Super cute. So I like both, but this is the better deal. Right behind me, they have a couple of new pieces of merchandise. Now, we have been looking, because we're at Animal Kingdom, for anything that's new that the Animal Kingdom typically has different merchandise that no other park has. Um, but we're really not, really not finding anything super new that's only Animal Kingdom special merch. So instead, we just decided to cover a few things that we've noticed that are new. Some of the stuff from the Cozy line, which we just went through, but also noticing there's a couple of new shirts here for Spring Break and St. Patrick's Day. So check these out. Cool Spring Break t-shirt, and then we have the St. Patrick's Day t-shirt as well. So both super cute, and they're only 25 bucks, $24.99. Um, plus, obviously, if you have an annual pass, you get an annual pass discount. So um, kind of cool, cute, brand new t-shirts, one for spring break, one for St. Patrick's Day. If you're going to be coming down here on spring break, they've got this shirt available for you to wear. Let's see if I can get a better, better view, because it's really bright right there. But spring break. It's got Mickey kind of lounging on the beach, 2022, pretty cute. Well, they opened up It's Tough to Be a Bug, so we figured we'd hop on it real quick. There's only a 10-minute wait now. Um, so... I like this show. I feel like a lot of people don't like it. I like a lot of people it. think it's busted, but I like it. I think it's cute. I love the bug's life. I saw um, somebody posted something on Facebook the other day that said, if you had to watch 
one of these shows for 24 hours, and it had like Tough to Be a Bug, Country Bear Jamboree, um, I don't know, a bunch of different stuff, and one of them was Phil, Mickey's Philhar Har Magic. I was like, that's not even a question. It's <laughs> Mickey's Philhar Magic. Mickey's Philhar Magic, of course. Like, that's the only thing that I could watch for 24 hours without going insane. The Dung and I. And look at this. If you pay attention, that's a big giant ball of dung right there. It says, it's the most memorable role in the dung and I. This dung ball bounced off the stage and nearly brought down the house. So there's a giant ball of dung right in here in Tough to Be a Bug. I know it's probably just made out of concrete, but I'm still not going to touch it. Tough to be a bug. I don't know. I think these look pretty good on me. I'm going to try to invest in a pair of these babies. Pretty cool view of Everest there from this bridge way over here. It's actually a pretty... It's actually kind of a pretty uh, view. It's neat. Alright, we stopped at... We stopped at the little bar outpost thing right in front of Tusker House, which yeah. for some reason we can never remember the name of. I'm never. just going to call it the Tusker House bar that's in front of it. But for some reason I always remember the, well I know why, I always remember the name of the bartender. I remember first of all his name's Steve, that's why I remember. But I also remember he's very like kind and genuine and I don't know, I just think he's, yeah, he's a good, good bartender and so I what, remember him. What did you get to drink and how much was it? I got the Harambe iced tea. It was $15. It has orange juice in it instead of the whatever is usually in it. I forget what he told me. He had me try it first. By the way, every time I go there and I order something different, he's like, here, try it first. Like, I don't even ask to try it. He's like, yeah. make sure you like it, which is another reason why he's a good bartender. Yeah, he is good. Um, yeah, so... It has orange juice in it, which um, I've never had a Long Island with orange juice in it, but I, I'm going to try it. I feel like it's Is that how good. it came? That's how it came? Yeah. Or he, he no, subbed it? No, that's how it came. So, okay. No, that's how it came. And you like this, though. You've, have you had this before? I feel like you've had this. No, I keep getting the margaritas when I come. Oh, that's right. We got that spicy yeah. one one time. Well, yeah. How much was it? This is again? good. 15 15 I think the margaritas were 16 so this is like a dollar cheaper. I think that that location is the best yeah. um, drink location in Animal Kingdom is set for maybe Joffrey's because of the good deal that you get with the Joffrey's yeah. coffee with the double shot and everything. But, but the overall, bartender here is yeah. really, really good. He's always there. He is always, like there. He's always there. Yeah. I asked him, I was like, we were, there was no one in line, no one. It was like a tomb. I was like, are you open? And um, he was like, yeah, I'm open until 7.30. It closes at 8. So I guess maybe they close a half hour before the park closes, maybe. I don't know. I thought it was going to close. Yeah, I thought it was going to be, be closed, open. for yeah. sure. Because once the safari closes at like 5.30, all of Africa shuts down. Yeah, but that was open. But it was open, so that's good. Yeah. Um, and then I, I think the place, the, the, the drink place, um, Pongu Pongu in Pandora is not too bad either, but it usually has a really long line, and there's nobody over there. So. But I, I can say I've had drinks upon uh, a, a drink. I can't say I've had multiple. I had a drink, well, had a drink at Pongu Pongu, uh, or whatever it's called, and I've had several drinks here. The drinks in Africa are far are better. superior, far superior. And, than the ones and Pongu Pongu has one of the yeah. grossest things we've ever eaten yeah. in any Disney park. <laughs> it really I is. will never forget that. Yeah. Busted pineapple cream cheese thing. And there's, thing always, there's that every, always a long line. By the way, I always see people walking with that busted yes, pineapple thing like, and people are just like, mm, mm, this thing is good. And I'm so like, <laughs> so, so anyway. Yeah, come here. If you want a drink, definitely come to Africa and yeah. get one from Steve. Made our way back to the Pandora area. You can already see everything lit up. I just love even looking at the ground, it's so cool. Ah, there's the helicopter thing that I pointed out earlier. You can barely make it out in the distance there. It's hard to see. I just really like all this stuff. Look at all these like little plants and things. They're just so cool. I just like looking at them.
This thing right here looks like a Christmas tree. I love how the waterfalls are all sort of lit up here. There's the entrance to Flight of Passage right there. It's only an 80 minute wait right now. Yeah, it's pretty short, honestly, 80 minutes. I mean, yeah, like you said, it means it's probably only about a 45 minute wait. Heading over here near Wind Traders in Pongu Pongu. Uh, this mech right here looks pretty cool at nighttime. It's all lit up. Here we are hanging out in front of the waterfall here in Pandora. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. Look how cute it looks. I love it. Um, I'm sure the waterfall sound is not doing very well with the microphone, but it still looks really pretty. Not us. And it's kind of warm. It's a little warm out and I feel it's like mist yeah. coming off of me. It's making me feel very choice right now, so I'm enjoying it. Anyway, I just think it's really pretty. Let me see. It's a cool place for photo op, and there's there is a photo um, cast member over there to do the photo pass stuff, so you can get a really cool picture. I made him do this because I was like, let's go over by the waterfall with a new camera. I don't think it's working. Is it working? Let us know. I guess we'll find out in post. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Probably not. <laughs> All right, here we are, right in front of the Navi River ride, and it's a 55-minute wait. Not too bad. But if you look, there's this sort of uh, sculpture here made out of all these different vines and things in front of Navi River. It looks really cool at night, actually. But that is basically that big main shaman there that's actually inside the Navi River Adventure ride. So I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it looks pretty much the same. So I'm going to say it's pretty much the same shaman that's actually inside the ride, which is one of the coolest animatronics in any park, in any ride. And now for the loudest area of the park, the drums. And there are always people here drumming at all hours of the day, always here, always people beating on these drums. Let's check out Dinosaur. I think the wait time has come down so we can actually ride it this time. So hopefully it's still, I see 10 minutes. So let's jump on Dinosaur. I love this ride. Lots of cool little fossils and stuff in here. Mm. Ah, the monster. Carnosaurus. Wait, is it Carnosaurus or Carnotaurus? Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus. The Carnotaurus. It's a monster. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Love this ride. Greatest ride, super awesome. They're gonna tell me to take off my ears. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker, listen up. We've gotta get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll. Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Oleoramus. Which means you need to slow down and get in the frame. Get in the frame? Yeah, you need to get in the frame. 
Yay, we rode Dinosaur. That was fun. Twice. Yeah. Yeah, we got to ride it twice in a row. They didn't even make us get off. Yeah, I feel like I've never gotten to ride Must that twice in a row. Uh, they, they, they made it, they said, st you have to, when we got to the end where you would normally get off, they said stand up and then you can sit back down. I don't know why we had to stand up. Yeah. Probably to like redo all the seatbelt stuff, yep. but we yay. got to ride it twice in a row. That was fun. There was nobody over there, so yay. I loved it. I love that ride. It's so good. All right, well, it's the end of the night, and we didn't find anything to eat. We ran out of time. We did. We, uh, we, we, rode, we, we did Dinosaur twice. We did uh, Tough to be a Bug. We walked around. We did some filming and looked at different things and had a good time. We did some merchandise, and then all of a sudden it was time for was everything. Was, all the food was closed, and we were like, oops. <laughs> but I did get oh, my almond popcorn. So I want to try it real quick before we head out. I've been dying to try this. So I'm gonna try out this popcorn. It looks delicious. I'm dying to try it. You wanna try it? Yeah. You got some? Let's give it a go. It smells good. It's not stale. Oh, it's good. Mmm. I really like it. Ooh, there was some sort of like gummy or something. Some sort of like chewy gummy in there that I, I just had. Was. Yeah. I don't know what it was. It doesn't say that's in there. Maybe it was just like a ball of like the blue stuff that goes on there, but it was good. He said blue stuff. I don't know. I didn't get any almonds in that handful because I feel like they're going to be all at the bottom. It tastes kind of blueberry-ish, I guess. Oh, it definitely does. It's got like a blueberry flavor. They're blueberry almond popcorn. It's not stale. It was it's a stale. A texture. I haven't had any almonds I've had, yet. I've had some popcorn at Disney that's not stale, but a lot of it has been stale. Yeah. So that was good. Kind of reminded me of the celebrated celebration, 50th anniversary celebration, like confetti that. popcorn. I think it's better, especially once I get to the almonds. It's yeah. going to be way better. So, yeah. yum. I can't wait to go dig into the rest of this uh, as soon I as we th leave. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but I actually kind of do. It's good. <laughs> yeah. I know. She yeah, was making like, fun of me. She was like, either. I'm going to eat that busted kinda blue good. popcorn. It was good. So, anyhow, um, that's our show for today. Thanks for joining us. It was been a great day at Animal Kingdom. I feel like we haven't been here in a long time, and we had, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. What was your favorite thing? Walking through Pandora. It's always my favorite. Yeah. I love it at night. So. That is so yeah. cool at night. You gotta come. If you've never seen it at night, you get you gotta experience your, experience it yourself. The yeah. the camera and the microphone just doesn't do it justice. It's like this whole ambient thing that's happening. It's so good. All right. So the tree, the the, the show on the Tree of Life is starting right now. So I think we're gonna go watch it. Uh, but again, thanks for joining us. Tune in again tomorrow. We'll have another awesome episode for you. Until then, the noble way. Here's the easy way. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>